Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Helen. If you're new to the channel, welcome friend. All right, so today we are kicking old habits. I am going to share with you a few habits that I have kicked straight to the curb that has allowed me to be where I am currently in my journey. So I'm new with my journey. This journey that I'm taking is totally different from the journeys I've done in the past. In the past, I would come on here, I would measure myself, we would talk about the things I was doing and eating. Um, also in the past on Instagram, I did a whole thing about the 85 pound weight loss I went through with P90X and all the extreme workouts and all that. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm 49. I'm up in age. I've had, I've carried children, two C-sections. I've had car accidents, lower back, uh, procedures. We're not doing that no more. Not over here. However, I found that creating healthier habits and getting rid of some of these bad negative habits that I was doing, um, even though they just seem like everyday things to me, um, just getting rid of a few things helped to change and uh, mold me to who I am today. I am. I have a long way to go. I feel like I'm still on this journey. I feel like it would be a continuous journey. I feel like um, I can now maybe succeed in what I'm doing when at first I was wondering, mm, I don't know how this is going to go. Now I feel like I can see the road ahead. And even though the journey is long, I'm enjoying the road ahead and I am enjoying the scenery and everything and all things that surround me as I journey along this road. So let's get into some of these habits and hopefully that the habits that I've kicked that maybe you have a few in your life, you'll be like, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know what? Maybe if I kick that habit for a little bit. And I mean, kick the habit for like a week or two. See how it feels. And then if it feels like there's something you just want in your life, keep it in your life. I always say things to be in moderation anyway. I don't think we should just get rid of every and all things. However, um, I am plant-based. I believe in the 85, like 90% rule. I'm eating 85, 90% plants all day. Um, if I decide to have a piece of salmon, which I haven't had in a long time now, I'm going to eat that piece of salmon. If I feel like, um, I want cheese today, she's going to eat cheese today. Okay. I might suffer later, but I don't really just like, I'm not going to do this unless I'm doing a detox, which I just came off of not too long ago. And I plan on doing that once a month. Other than that, I just feel like we're only giving so much time on this earth as it is. And to restrict myself completely, I just uh, feel like, um, I don't know about that. It's just not for me. It may be for someone else. It's not for me. But I absolutely love eating plant-based. I love the way that it gives me so much energy. Uh, makes me look so vibrant. Gives my skin that glow, friend. And um, it just keeps me regular and keeps me moving. And I have young children. I got to keep up, Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this list of some things I've kicked, some habits to the curb that has gotten me where I am today. All right, and I'm going to put up some footage, maybe videos, maybe pictures, um, anything that I think can go along with what I used to do, what I'm doing now, so we can, you know, get a visual. I know y'all don't want to see my face. All right, so the first thing I'm going to say, and I said this about a year or two ago, is... Um, I just don't listen to other people's opinions. I really don't care what other people say, how they feel, what they think about me at all. Um, most of the time, these people who have so much energy they want to put into your lives have nothing to do with you. They don't pay your bills. They don't take care of you. They don't sponsor you in any type of way. So when it comes to outside people, I just don't care. I, I really don't care. They can say I'm overweight. You should work out like this. You should try this. If I'm not paying you for your services as a personal trainer or you're not my doctor, I just really don't care. I just go based on what I feel, what my doctor says, what the medical report, the blood work says, and I go from there. I understand that there's a lot of people in the world who think they know everything and all things. And I'm the first one to say, please contact your doctor. Ask your doctor. Go Google, do your research. Like, I, we don't all know everything. That's why it's called practicing medicine. A lot of people are practicing because we don't know it. We are not the higher being. We don't know everything. Um, so I take other people's, like, comments, suggestions very lightly because I um, am very intuitive to in tune 
to my body. So I kind of know like, okay, this is how far I can push myself. This is what I can do. And like I said, with having back procedures, being having steroid injections in my spine, both the base of my neck and the lower tailbone, I, I know what I can and cannot do and how far I can go because I feel my body. <laughs> Others on the outside can't feel what I feel. So I've learned to just tune these people out. I, I give them the mannequin. I'm as if I'm listening. And then when I'm gone, it's it's dumped. I dump that. I brain dump that. I don't consume that, keep that. I don't let that eat away at me. And I don't let that uh, predict my day, my mood, or anything like that. So my first suggestion to you is if you're overweight, you've been struggling, and you know you're overweight, you know you're going through this journey of, I want to do this, I just don't know how. And there's people around you to call you fat, overweight, chunky, um, whatever the words are, um, you need to lose. You're going to have to let those people go. You're going to have to let them go. Tune them out. If they're within your household, you're going to have to get that therapy that you need to get you to the point where you can tune those people out. Because those people are the ones who will keep you where you are. Overweight, upset, depressed, or whatever it is that you're going through. So I'm going to say first things first. If you're struggling with weight and you know it is a mental issue, Meaning there's trauma surrounded by that, whether it's family, friends, something happening in your history, get therapy, seek therapy immediately. Once you have removed that block and that has been removed from your life, you can do whatever you want. You can succeed at losing hundreds, whatever you need to do, pounds. I've seen it. I've seen it. I lost 85 pounds with just letting ignorant people out of my life go. Okay. All right. So that's first things first. So I no longer let other people bother me. I don't even let, I'm, I'm on social media, so I get a lot of flack and my skin is thick. <laughs> so I've learned like, okay, that's that's a you problem. It's not a me. All right, because even if I lost a hundred pounds, they would have something to say. Think about it. All right, how'd you lose that weight? Did you do surgery? They will always have something to say. All right, so the next thing I have on here is I do not drink coffee first thing in the morning. It is around noon, and this is my first cup. It's only one cup a day from now on. Now, um, I used to have this habit, and it's because I absolutely love the taste of coffee. It's, oh man, it's the roast. It's all these beautiful roasts from around the world, these different coffees. It's Nespresso. I love the taste. However, having coffee as the first thing that hits my system in the morning is not a good thing. I get up in the morning, it's water first, period. I keep a big, huge jug of water on the side of my bed, and I chug it. I chug it as much as I can before I even get up out my bed to go to the restroom. After I drink so much water, I put in fruit in my body first thing in the morning, something of a healthy substance like that. Then my reward, if I still want it around noon, is coffee. I make this cup. I will probably have to reheat it because I don't drink it as I used to all day long. I no longer do that because I, I love the bougie girl, the, the thick foams, the syrups, the, the sprinkles of cinnamon on top. The beautiful designs. I love coffee. So instead of doing it every day with all that, I just treat myself on the weekend. Okay, it's a Sunday morning. I'm reading a book. I'm feeling a little bougie. bougie. Okay, I'm going to get that coffee. Or if it's in the middle of the week and I feel like today is just a day, I just want one. I'm going to make it. So I don't restrict myself. However, it's not the first thing I consume. When at one point, it was the thing I consumed. I would get up, go to the gym, drink a lot of water after I had that coffee and no longer no more mm -mm. so yeah um and I'll, I'll go back and touch on the coffee thing when i talk about when i eat as well so now i get up in the morning it's water friend i don't even have to have the lemons and a lot it's just water and i'm just flushing out whatever stuffed over from the night and then i allow myself fruit or something lighter um if i feel like eating in the morning nine times out of ten i do not anymore and the coffee is not until noon. So there's a lot of research behind that. You might want to Google it and search for it yourself. But I like pure caffeine. I don't buy the decaffeinated. I go for the hard stuff. I go for the espresso shots. I go for the robust coffee. So I know that if I put that first thing in my system in the morning, it's a no. It's a no. It's a bad habit. And I've had that habit for, what, 30 years or so? I don't know. And I've kicked it. 
I'm not taking that habit away of saying I don't drink coffee anymore. Now I'm saying get you some water in your system, get you some fruit, get you some light. Maybe around noon, you can reward yourself with coffee. Get you a little almond creamer, you know, a little something inside. But all that I used to do, I no longer do anymore. So now I just treat myself, and I've started this months ago, maybe September, October last year. I treat myself on the weekend with whatever coffee I want. All right, even iced coffee. So that's a habit that I've known that has helped me in weight loss because all those calories <laughs> with all the creams and all the bougie stuff that I was putting in there, I'm no longer drinking those calories. And I'm at the point now I can drink my coffee black. It doesn't even bother me. So, and on the weekend, she get those calories they get. Okay, y'all y'all have pulled up to Starbucks and ordered a drink and paid your little $6 for your drink and it was 500 calories. You could have had a burger and fry. I don't go two, three hours without eating. Let me tell you, I have learned this and I knew this back in the day because I used to do it, but I'm so busy or I'm so focused on something, I forget to eat. I forget to eat. Um, and once you become, once you create healthy habits, um, I think you get to the point where um, you're not hungry and it is what it is. But I've learned that if I go in large amount of hours without eating, I'm starving my body. My body thinks, oh, she's not about to eat. So we're going to hold on to this. We're not going to let this go because I don't know. We don't know what she's going to feed us again. However, when I started creating a healthy habit of every two hours, every two, three hours, grab your banana, get you some oranges, where's the walnuts, uh, make your smoothie, drink half of a juice. Like every two, three hours, if I'm doing something, uh, eating something or drinking something, my body says, Oh, you know what? She gonna feed us. We good. Let's go ahead and burn this part off because she gonna give us some more. You see what I'm saying? I am aiding and speeding up my metabolism. So the habit of I'm eat breakfast, I'm eat lunch, and a little something for that. I'm gonna get up and drink water. I might throw a little fruit in my mouth before eleven. I'm gonna eat good at eleven. Uh, Three o'clock, I'm eating good again. Four, five, I'm eating good again. Six, seven, seven, I'm eating good again. Like, I'm steady eating. And I love big, huge bowls of fruit. I love uh, bowls of uh, veggies, charcuterie boards. I don't snack a lot of carbs like I used to, but I still am eating healthier snacks. And I'm big on colors. I like things to look good and be pretty. Y'all know, aesthetically pleasing, right? I'm huge on that. So I'll make a pretty bowl or something and just take my time and just eat. I'm not stuffing myself. I'm just working, editing, eating, working on the computer, eating. But I'm steady eating and my body feels like I'm giving it good food. I'm giving it the uh, nutrients that it needs. And in turns, it's just burning because it's like, she gonna feed us, we good. But when I just go and eat a meal and I'm done, this is why I always say, Oh my God, I'm going to be so full. I'm going to have to make myself eat. Someone asked me in a video, what do you mean by make yourself eat? Sometimes I'm full. I had um, a, a cup of oats today, which is oatmeal, right? And I ate a little bit of uh, Wonder Girls omelet because they made an omelet. Y'all know I'm barely eat eggs, but I was like, that look good. Give me some of that. And I'm full. And I know it's because of the oatmeal. But that's okay. Because in an hour or two, I'm going to eat some oranges. I'm going to eat a banana. Like I'm going to steady make myself eat because my body needs it to keep moving to give me the energy and my body feeds off the food as energy so that i can do my workout so that i have brain power and i can sit at the computer and work i used to do this a lot and y'all know this so i used to say stuff like and i still do every once in a while but not like i used to do i used to say stuff like oh my god y'all see these arms i hate these arms so oh my god look at my stomach or i need to work on my food pile oh my legs are carbon i don't say that no more I know what I look like. Y'all know what I look like. <laughs> like, why do I have to reiterate like the things I don't like about me? So instead of doing that, I just talk about the things I do like about me. I just uh, focus on what pleases to my eye about me. And then in turn, things are just start like, you know, I don't know, fall into place. Uh, I don't place a lot of negativity on my body anymore. And I said this in a recent video that I want to focus more on body positivity. Um, I'm quick to pump somebody else up about their body. I'm quick to tell somebody else, girl, don't you worry about that for it, We all got that. Uh, everybody got that. Somebody got something. Even little people got, you know, but I don't do it for myself. So um, this is a new habit that I'm creating for myself 
But in the past, I have been trying my best. Even when I catch myself saying something, I will edit it out before I upload the video. Because the more negative I say about myself, the more negative I see myself, the more um, that part of my body becomes prominent and I just only focus on that. And it's, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to down yourself to, um, it's okay to know that you have flaws and there's areas of your body you need to work on, right? We all know that. But at the same time, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We all have something. We have to stop. So so you so you got a fupa. Okay, you had a C section, you got all the skin hanging, you lost weight, you got so what? So what? So what? Okay, and work on it. And it don't go away. Okay, you got money, get surgery, get it removed. You ain't got money, get it removed. Okay, well, let's love on it and live with it. Because at the end of the day, I mean, what? What are we gonna do about it? So instead of complaining and always saying stuff about it and me complaining about my arms, okay, well, go do yoga and some push-ups for 30 days and the wings will go away. Like, sometimes it's just we're so busy focusing on the negative, we won't even take the five minutes to what we need to do to turn that negative around to make it a positive. So I don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore. I don't sit up here and complain about I don't look good. My sister filmed a whole freaking video of me uh, on a cruise. I'm outside dancing on the beach with a two-piece on. Back in the day, I would have been pissed that she put that video up on Instagram. Now, I don't care. I don't care because it's me. It's my body. And either you like it or love it. Um, it doesn't matter because I love it. It's mine. I'm still here. I'm not six feet under. So while I'm here, present in this moment, we're just going to love on me just the way I am. Okay? Because we know we're in the process of making everything and all things better, okay? And great and sexy. What is it? 49 and fine or whatever it is, okay? We're in the process, but for right now, we're good. We're good. You're good just how you are right now, too. And then once you get that mindset to make a little change here, a little change, you'll be even better. And you'll love yourself even more for it. And you'll be appreciative of yourself for making those steps to be better, greater, um, more physically fit, you know, more physically appealing to yourself, not anybody else, yourself, okay? Like I always say, we're going to look good naked. I mean, I, it might not look good to you, but it's, it's going to look good to me, okay? Okay, so before bed, this is another thing. I never go to bed without drinking water. So from now on, I'm, I know I don't drink coffee once a day now. And at night, if I want like that warm, because I'm so used to drinking coffee at night, I say this all the time. My son says this to the oldest. I can drink a espresso, a really good, nice, heavy coffee and be knocked out. Like coffee is so soothing to me. And I don't know if it's the warmth, but I have a lot of adverse reactions to a lot of things like medicine, like Benadryl gets me crump. It puts other people to sleep. So coffee, whatever it does for me, it just makes me, girl, I just go to sleep on it. So now I don't do that. I do tea. I make my own herbal tea. I drink the tea at night. And before I go to bed, I drink water. I drink water. If I got to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go to pee, I don't care. I'm still going to drink water before I go to bed to flush out everything that was impacted in me by me eating, drinking, whatever. I need the water to help flush it. That's why when I get up in the morning, I drink more water to push it even further to get it out of my system. This is why I poop in the morning. Okay? I poop in the morning. I pee in the morning. I at least poop twice a day. Depends on what I'm eating. But I'm, I'm going to spill twice a day and I stay regular and I can really contribute to the fiber I'm intaking, like from Bell Wave, from um, like my smoothies and all those greens I eat. And I can test that to water. I, I like flushing my stuff. I don't like the feeling of food sitting here. So I got to move it. So water is something I do every night. I used to go to bed and be like, I'm not going to drink no water before I go to bed because I'm not getting up in the middle of the night peeing. Um, sometimes I get up, sometimes I don't. But now it's like, if I get up, I get up. I mean, I, I'm going to drink water at night. So now it's a habit. So now it's not only me drinking before bed, but now when I get up in the morning, the rest of water is right there. And I just keep water, that huge gallon jug, on the side of my bed. I don't take it out of my room until that jug is empty. Then I replace it with another jug. So I'm not trying to re remember to fill water bottles to put in my room. It's not pretty. It's not a beautiful craft on my nightstand or nothing like that. But girl, it's a jug right on the side of my bed. When I'm thirsty, I drink it. I don't like waking up and my lips are dry and crusty. I, I don't like that feeling. So I drink water to hydrate my body. 
All right. Another habit I stopped. I don't eat out. Y'all know I don't even like to eat out anyway. I used to take kids out every once in a while. And, and I might still do, but I don't eat out. So I, I prepare myself. If I'm going to the gym in the morning, I'm prepping a fruit tray, like container, some nuts or something. I might even take pretzels. I might even take like a wrap or something. If I know I have things to do after I leave or before I go. If I know I'm going to be out the house, I just prepare myself as if I'm going like a nine to five and I just take my food with me, my lunch. I don't pull up at Taco Cabana like I used to and get the black bean taco because it's vegan without the cheese. I don't pull up to, um, it's this little uh, place we have over here that does like veggie plates. They're expensive, 15 bucks for a veggie plate. I know it's full of sodium and all that crap, but I, in my mind, oh, it's vegetables. I don't do that anymore. I just take the stuff I need that's going to satisfy me until I get home. And it's easier, it's more affordable, and I, I make a healthier choice by doing so. So I no longer, I no longer stop. I, I just don't stop. I'm not in Target saying, oh, I'm at the register, I'm so hungry, let me get these Lay's chips because they're vegan. Um, they got this beef jerky from Beyond Beef, non beef, whatever jerky from Beyond Beef, whatever the trivia. I don't buy that no more. I, I don't even do that anymore. I just keep nuts and a snack in my car, pop it open if I need to get something, or I keep fruit in my handbag. I'm, I'm quick to keep like oranges, bananas, like in my a banana or two would suffice for me. That sugar that I need when I feel like I'm low when I come out the gym, I, I feel like when I come out the gym. I'm crashing, right? So that's what I kind of, the banana, the oranges, the berries, or something real quick, maybe even some crackers, and then I can make it home. But it's the stopping to pick up something. It's going to counteract what I just did in the gym. So um, I just don't stop no more. There's nowhere I even really want to go. There's a few like vegan restaurants here that I knew that I want to try. And, and I might do that. It might be like a weekend thing. But I'm not, during the week, pulling over or at the register seeing like the gummy bears that I used to buy all the time. And um, I forget, they're, they're the vegan gummy, whatever. I used to buy them like every other day and just no more. I'm not eating peppermint sticks all day, every day, all that sugar. I don't do that anymore. So I pack a snack to go. Y'all don't know how good the black bean tacos are from Taco Cabana. You don't know unless you know. And I always have to say light on the rice. Why am I eating beans, rice, and a tortilla? Girl, what is going on? Okay, anyway, I don't make excuses anymore. I don't make excuses. So we have a habit. I know we do. I'm a mom and I'm busy and da da da, da. I get it, friend. I can't go to the gym and uh, I don't do that anymore. Okay, so what? I haven't been to the gym in a week now. I still worked out at the, on the ship. I worked out yesterday. No, I worked out day before yesterday in the garage. Yes, I have equipment in my garage. Yes, I bit the bullet. Put them things on four, five pays with Klarna. All that's the equipment, and I bought it. Yeah, I did. However, girl, it's like five dollars at five and below for those uh, bands, those uh, the things you put around you if you want to do like I don't know um, resistance workouts, um, jump ropes. They have uh, weights. I think I bought weights from there. I bought some cheap weights from Ross. They have, uh, there's so much you can do for like pennies on a dollar. I've seen people work out with water jugs, gallon water bottles. Those are heavy, friend. Work out with those. You're going to get a sweat, okay? If you live in a two-story, I could walk these stairs like for 30 minutes and I feel like I'm about to die. So we give all these excuses, and I said this in a live, um, but we have time. You can sit and watch a video on YouTube, or you can listen to it. And walk the stairs you can listen to it and walk around circling your house they have videos now like on instagram youtube or whatever where they're just walking working out and walking they might stop and do a squat or two start back walking might stop and do a lunge or two start back walking like there's so many things you can do that doesn't take up more than 15 20 minutes of your day so i always tell myself no excuses friend you can just if you got 15 minutes let's just go do something real quick i worked out this morning i gave myself 30 minutes i did a 30 minute walk on a treadmill literally walked briskly and went and started working on the yard this morning so I was like, that's all I got time for today. That's all I'm going to get. And if I got time later, I might work out again. But that's all I had for this morning. And that's what I gave myself. So I don't give myself excuses no more. I don't feel good. I'm tired. Fine. Rest your body. Let's start over tomorrow. Let's get up and move again tomorrow. But 
the no movement thing, I don't do that anymore. And that leads into when I eat. When I eat, I do not lay down. Ain't no laying down. If I'm eating, I need to be up. So I make sure to cut off eating by 7 o'clock. So I'm still up. I'm moving my body. My food gets to move and travel. Otherwise, if I'm laying down, my food is sitting here. It doesn't get, really get to digest and move. So I try to move. Sometimes I dance at night. The kids know I'm known for dancing in the kitchen. I posted many videos on Instagram where I'll be making tea. And I like to move. I like to move my food. I can sit up and work on the computer or whatever. But I don't like to sit for long after I've eaten. I like to get up and move my body. And it's just a simple, briskful walk like around the house or whatever. But I do not lay down. That leads me to this. I don't, I try not to eat before 11, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, right? Sometimes I just don't eat before like 12. I don't even want to. Um, but I try not to eat before 11 and I try to shut off by 7. And it's not that I'm intermittent fasting. I'm just allowing my body time to just rest and just not be continuously trying to digest food. Because once again, I'm eating two, three hours a day. And my body is like... Here she go with some more food. Let's get this. Come on, let's get. So to get my body rest and time to just say, "Woo, she's finally done eating for the day." I just get my body from like seven to eleven to do its thing. Okay. Another thing, I no longer stay up at night reading, or no longer am up night at night scrolling, watching TV, and it has become such a habit of going to bed that even when I try, I will pass out and go to sleep. And I, I don't sleep with TVs. I can't do the noise. I like pitch black. So I stopped being up at night, watching late night lives, late night TV, scrolling on my phone. Girl, I take a bath, come nine o'clock, I shut it down. And it has become a very good habit for me. So instead of being up late, um, my mind's wandering and it's, it's some things aren't for you to see before bed because that can be that can flow subconsciously through your mind so I shut it down I do not stay up at night anymore I do not get the three four hours of sleep I used to get I told you all if I feel like I may not get that rest I need I will pop a sleep gummy from Equilibria I need my seven hours. I understand, and I did a sleep study when I was in school, and I told you all, the three, four hours I would get a night, it was like, man, you got to sleep. Come on, you, you got to go to sleep. You got to get the REM sleep. I got to get the seven hour at least sleep a night so I can fight against all these medical diseases that pop up from lack of sleep. I can fight um, obesity. I can fight stress and depression and anxiety with a good night rest. So I sleep seven hours. If I get up to go use the restroom, every once in a while, I will pick my phone up and I'll get to doing something and start reading. And I'm like, oh, what am I doing? And I would have to shut it off. But I used to go use the restroom and I would just be up. Well, now I'm like, uh-uh, go to the restroom, come back, don't turn no lights on, go lay back down. And nine times out of 10, I would fall back to sleep. But what would keep me up is if I would go look at my phone to see what time it is. I don't do that anymore. I do not look at my phone to see what time it is. I have an alarm on Google and an alarm on my phone. If that alarm has not gone off on either one of them, it's not time to get up. Go lay back down. So I make sure I have a strict amount of sleep every night now. I no longer stay up at night. And I would tell my friend, I'll be up and be like, oh girl, I, I got to go to bed. Good night. And It'd be like 10 o'clock and I'm like, it's past my bedtime. Everybody knows it's past my bedtime. So that's a habit I created for myself. I suggest that you read up on uh, how many hours of sleep you need at night um, for a healthy like lifestyle because <laughs> you got to sleep. If you want to lose weight, you got to sleep. If you want to ingest your food properly, you need to sleep. Help reduce stress, go to sleep. All right. So I don't put I don't put a stamp on my progress, right? So I don't say in 30 days I'm gonna lose 20 pounds. In 15 days, I don't do that because I could be a big disappointment and I could either lose it or not. I could be in the middle of my menstrual and have five pounds extra on me and it's just menstrual. I could be where I have gone hard for the last 60 days on weights on my legs. I have built muscle mass. So the weight that I thought I was losing was 10 pounds was really like four because the other has become muscle. So 
I don't put time limits, restrictions, stamps on any date and time where I want to do a certain thing at all. For me right now, it's just my life. This is what I'm doing for life. I get up, I work out. If I can, if I don't, I don't. Um, I'm trying to eat healthy, make better choices, get rid of all negative and past um, choices that was not good for me, that didn't um, benefit me. And so this has become life for me now. So I no longer put stamps. On anything there's no date stamp on anything that I'm doing at all period and I suggest the same for you I know sometimes we put pressure on ourselves uh, for an event and when you do that it's, it's not mentally good it really isn't because when you don't succeed at that or you don't see the results that you think you're supposed to have it can be damaging so I don't do that I'm just saying I'm this is how I'm living and Every month, I'm going to, I see changes. I see something different, and it boosts that, um, it gives that positive feeling inside me to make me want to keep going. Because sometimes when you don't see the results you thought you was going to see in 10, 20, 30 days, it'll make you say, what am I doing this for? <laughs> I quit. Right? So, I don't do that anymore at all. Last but not least, um... You know, you go to the store and you find things that you really like and you was like, and you're, you'll buy it. And you'll be like, well, I'm just going to eat a few of them. I just don't buy them. If I feel like it's something that is so addicting, so where I just got to have it, like graham crackers with the cinnamon, I'm just not buying it. <laughs> I'm just not buying it because if it's here, I'm going to eat it. So I don't even tip myself like that. I try to find a substitute for it. I bought some the other day, opened the pack and was like, oh, let me get this to them because... I'm going to eat this whole box because it's tempting. They're vegan, junk food. Uh, they don't have as much sugar if you get the ones without the cinnamon sugar on top. But still, it's I don't need it. I just wanted it. And though that's something I'm, I can't eat just a few of. So I no longer buy it. Um, that's what I could say about that. If you have something in your house that you know is um, counteracting what you're trying to do, <laughs> get rid of it, toss it, let it go. Because, yeah, even though we, we we can eat things in moderation, at the same time, if it's something you know you cannot handle in moderation, let it go. And there's a lot of things I just don't buy no more. Candy, gummies, chocolate, um, um, jalapeno chips. I buy it for them, and I just try to walk away. Like, I don't even see it, but I eat the whole bag. Uh, Funyuns, I would eat the whole bag. I haven't bought Funyuns in years. Thank God they don't like them because I would eat the whole, I mean, family bag, y'all, not snack, okay? Um, there's a lot of things that I know I would eat in abundance and just, so I no longer do that. I no longer buy it if I know it's tempting for me. And um, there's some things they eat, the kids, that's tempting for me. And I kind of just be like, put it in your cabinet. I don't want to see it, Okay. And, um, yeah, so that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you all. There's some habits that I kick to the curb. It feels good to look good and feel good. And um, I'm going to say this because someone's going to ask, how much do I weigh? I don't know. I'm 49. I'm 5'5", a little bit over 5'5", five, 5'5 five, five, five and a half. I went from a size like 10-ish, tight 10, tight, tight 10 to a loose 8, okay? I can tell you that. And um, I'm still going. Nothing fits on me like it used to. None of my bras, panties, dresses, shoes. Everything's gone down a size or two. Um, jeans have gone down like a size and a half. So, yeah, that's all I can attest to. I did do a measurement on myself in one of these videos that I passed. And uh, maybe next month I'll measure myself again and give you, like, the difference in measurement. And just say, okay, so this is where I was. This is where I am now. But I don't weigh myself. I don't believe in standing on the scale knowing... Um, I'm up in age. I'm 49. And I know I still have a cycle. And I'm building muscle. So I don't see the standing on the scale thing um, worth it for me. Because I see visually the changes, right? Now, at one point I didn't. But um, I'm more of a put this dress on. Does it fit anymore like it used to? Okay. So, and I used to weigh myself back in the day. And that's how I know I lost 84 pounds in the past because I weighed myself. But I do understand my, my weight fluctuates. So instead of putting that trauma on me of, oh, I'm scared to step on the scale. What's the scale going to say today? Because that's how I felt with stepping on the scales. I don't even allow that trauma in my life. So 
I don't want to step on it and be disappointed and be mad at myself for something I did when um, this is life and we all will make choices and mistakes and learn from them. So I don't, I don't weigh myself and I won't. I'm good at that. I don't even know what I weigh. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going for healthy, happy, whole, um, spiritually healthy, physically healthy, mentally healthy. That's what I'm going for. So maybe one day I'll stop at a TJ Maxx or something or whoever has a scale, Walmart, and stand on it. But um, yeah, I haven't stand on a scale in a long time. So anyway, I'm out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on kicking negative habits, negative people, negative things, and um. Have you, do you have a few things in your life that you can kick that you know will help and aid in your journey, this healthy journey that we're on? And um, I don't want to do this alone. I want y'all to do this with me. So I encourage you all to kick a habit. Pick like three bad habits that you know, you know they bad habits and let them go. Just let them go, sis. And let me know down below which habit are you kicking first. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for supporting me. If you're new to the channel, once again, thank you for stopping by. If you felt this content was um, pertinent enough to click like, please click like and share with others. I just want to share that um, this journey is not an easy one. And it sometimes it takes like ugly things to happen. You know, letting people go or... Um, Mm, stopping habits that you've you've created for years like me coffee i don't i don't even remember a time where i didn't drink coffee i don't remember i don't remember <laughs> i don't remember so now i love it i'm gonna always love it but i don't just um but i know it's empty calories with everything all things i add to it so <laughs> i'm making a healthier choice i'm still having it in my life it's just like doses okay i will see you all next video thanks for hanging out with me again make sure you hit subscribe if you're not subscribed make sure your bell notification is turned on so you can be notified each and every time i do and upload and i will see you all in the next video peace and blessings